Hey guys, what's up? So welcome to part two of setting up your PC for the Odin project. The first video focused on installing your virtual machine onto your computer and getting Linux onto your virtual machine. If you guys haven't seen that yet, I highly advise you go check that out. I'll have that posted in the comments below. This video is gonna focus on getting Linux set up on your host PC and getting ready to start the coding process, all right? So like I said, if you guys haven't seen the first part, check that out and let's jump into it. Okay, so once you finish installing, it's gonna say, please remove your installation media and hit enter. Just go ahead and tap enter when you get to that screen and it's gonna force a reboot, okay? Nothing to panic about, super simple. Just hit enter, your screen's gonna get wonky for a second and then it's gonna prompt a reboot. All right, so that's where we're starting from here, from the reboot, I'm gonna go ahead and start Zubuntu. Now, essentially that's it. Everything's installed into the virtual machine. All that's left to do is go in and make a few small tweaks and fix it so that we can start doing other things like putting Git on our virtual machine, okay? We just gotta make sure we got Linux up and running first. And now your password's gonna be the same password you typed in previously. All right, so go ahead, type your password in. And now we wait. Like I said, it's a little slower on a virtual machine than you're normally used to on your, on your main computer, at least for me. Cool, and the first thing it says is that a new upgrade of Ubuntu is available, and we're just gonna go ahead and click yes, upgrade now. Look at the shiny new Linux background. If this is your first time using Linux, you're in for a treat, man. Linux is a blast. It's an absolute blast. So we're gonna go ahead and install that right now. So go ahead, where it says software updater up here, click on that, and then go ahead and click on install now. And it's only 155 megabytes, so it shouldn't take too long. But like I was saying, there's only a few more small tweaks we have to do before our Linux is ready to start being experimented with, and we can really jump into the Odin project. So if you get this authentication window here, you just type in your password again. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna fast forward through this shit. Thank you for waking me up. All right, tagging out for a second. Holy shit, it's still installing. Ugh. All right, I just came back to check on the, the status of this installation and this is a monster. A monster of an installation, Jesus Christ. All right, so once the installation finishes, go ahead and click on restart later. And then we're gonna do the last bit of setting up, okay? We're almost there, I promise, we're almost there. It's been a long ride, we're almost done. First thing we're gonna do is click on this little whisker menu right here, this little cat. We're gonna click on that, and then we're gonna type software updater. All right, so we made sure we got everything, and now we're gonna go ahead and click on restart now. All right, we've restarted now, we log back in with the same password. We can close this little window that pops up. Now this is the first time I ever use a terminal when I was setting up the Odin project. So you're gonna hold control, hold alt, and press T. And you're gonna open up the terminal. Little hacker window, right? This is pretty much how you can access everything on your computer. You can make files here, move files. And you use this a lot with Linux. Linux has a very powerful command line, okay? And there's so many different things you can do. But if you're just starting off, don't worry about it. Don't let it scare you. Just, uh, there's tons of guides and information on everything. Anything you need to do in a terminal, like there's always a step-by-step -step tutorial that you can copy and paste into the terminal so you don't even have to sweat it, okay? All right, so here's what we're gonna do from here. We are going to so we're gonna go to the Odin project in our virtual machine. We're going to view the curriculum. This foundations path, we're gonna start here. We're gonna click view path. We're gonna open the course. And then we're gonna click on prerequisites. And then once you click on prerequisites, you're just gonna click on virtual machine. 
Once you click on virtual machine, scroll down to step. Scroll down to step three right here where it says install and enable guest editions, okay? And what we're gonna do, we're gonna copy, we're gonna keep this super simple in case you're afraid or you're terrified of typing things into the command line, okay? So if you guys need to see this yourself, this is where you can pull the information and read through it. I'll have this posted in the comments below. But what we're gonna do for now, we're just gonna highlight this right here. Stop, don't highlight the period. Grab everything after the colon and stop before the period. You can hit Control C to copy. Now inside your terminal, you can click this little tab up here and switch over. Inside your terminal, you're gonna hold Control, Shift, and press V. And then hit Enter, and it's gonna ask you for your password. So type in your password. It's gonna say, do you wanna continue? Hit Y for yes, hit Enter. All right, and once that's done, your terminal's gonna finish. Everything's gonna load through line by line. If you've never seen a terminal operate before, don't freak out, don't panic. That's just how it looks. It's just telling you what's happening, what it's setting up and what it's doing. And when it's done, you're gonna have a nice little green text just like that. You're gonna see your computer's name with the dollar sign afterwards. It's telling you it's ready for the next command. And once we're here, we're gonna to stick to the simple system we're doing. We're just gonna keep copying and pasting for now. Like the other project says here, if you get one of the following errors, unable to locate the package build essential and unable to locate package DKMS, you can copy and paste number seven into the command line, all right? So now we're just gonna go step by step through this list together, okay? So once you click on devices, you're gonna get a window that pops up, you're gonna go to the very last option that says insert guest editions and CD image. All right, so once you get this little window to pop up, you're just gonna right click in any of the white space and you're gonna click open terminal here. All right, so now we have a terminal open inside of this folder, okay? And once you're here, you're going to go back to your web browser. You're going to scroll down to number 13. You're going to scroll down to number 13. And you're going to copy this line right here that starts with sudo all the way to the run. Hit Control-C to copy. Go back to the terminal that says VBox GA 6.1 110. And then Control-Shift-V. Hit Enter. It's going to ask you for your password. Oops, I made a boo-boo. So it doesn't tell you when you're typing your password. So you just got to wing it and hope you get it. If you ever make a mistake, just hold backspace a ton. And once you type in your password, it's installing the guest editions. Now, the guest editions let you have a clipboard shared between your host PC and the guest PC or the one on the terminal. You can drag and drop files in between. It just makes everything so simple. All right. So that's what we're setting up with this right now. We'll also be able to maximize the window size too. So nothing but good things comes from this. Nothing but good things. All right, and once it's done, there we are. If you guys are confused, by the way, about the terminal, this green part is pretty much just your computer right here. And this blue part is your location within your computer. We'll get more into this in another video that I'm gonna make soon about setting up Git. But for now, those are the basics, all right? So once this is done, you can go ahead, we can close everything out. You're gonna right click this CD right here on your desktop and then click eject volume, eject finish. We're done there. All we have left to do now is reboot the virtual machine and we'll do that with some swag, all right? If this was your first time using a terminal, go ahead, we can open a new terminal, Control Alt T. Let's get some practice in, okay? And we're gonna type in reboot. And there you go, your very first command if you never use a command line. Now we're essentially done. The restart's finished, let's go ahead and log in. Now we just have a few new toys to show off, okay? I wanna make sure you guys are comfortable. So now we can actually full screen our virtual box. And if you guys set up to run dual monitors, all you'd have to do is click on view up here and it's gonna say virtual screen one and two and then you just click on virtual screen two and enable and you'll have both monitors up. If you guys have any questions, let me know. You can also drag and drop files from your host computer to this one now without any issues and life should be grand. You are now set up to start your coding journey with the Odin Project or just for fun on the side if that's what you're into. And this was a long one. Hopefully you guys stuck with it and got your virtual machine up and running. Take care. Peace.